hundred people at it. Yeah. And you were nervous after twelve years. I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a person sitting alongside me when I was down in the audience and they were wondering what it's like trying to keep three eggs warm. I was smoking <laughs> around so much in the, in the seat. But I suppose that's part of it. You know, it's <laughs> well, and you know, a lot of fine singers will say they get nervous before they go out and you give your best performance when, when, when you're nervous. Yes. Uh, there's a text just in saying, could you congratulate Michael Pease from the Galtys Toastmasters uh, and they're in Mitchellstown. Thank you for that. Uh, to 85 So the, the competition, 400 people, that's a big crowd. I take it microphones and everything for that. Yeah, you have the one over your ear, that kind oh, of it, which you're just fears. getting wired up, yeah, so it's something you just have to get used to. But what I find is, while I was nervous going up, once you the first sentence is gone, it just, it was, it's, it was grand in, and it went, the speech just went perfectly. Did it? Yeah, it was just in about, about Irish men's inability to read instruction manuals. Okay. okay. They think they can read, they, they think they can operate any machine without reading instructions. And this them. is often experience. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. But there, it's the same, and everyone can, could connect with the idea. And yeah. That's what really helped us along. So it's read the manual is what, you, is what you're, you're Oh, yeah, yeah. But we can't yeah. find the manual, then when yeah. we do, when there's a problem. I have, uh, we have an engineer here, John Callis, PC is not in the building, because whenever there's a new piece of equipment comes in, and then somebody will inevitably call him in and ask a very stupid question, and he always turns around and he said, will you go in and read? Now he puts a, <laughs> a swear word into it. Will you go in and read, read the manual? And the amount of people that don't, Oh yeah, it's just, what we, I don't know why it is, but we just don't do it. And do we end so up how, how did you come up, how did you come up with that idea for, for, for your speech? Well, I, you, that's what I find hard is coming up with a, an idea for the speech. But then once you think of an idea, then you're kind of building up and it's something that will happen to you. Yeah. And you're infuriated and then what you'll, you can't solve the problem. Then you end up ringing the helpline, which yeah. drives you mental altogether. You know, and you're you're you someone home. with a different accent, and you're on <laughs> you're on hold for twenty minutes and so forth, and uh, you're becoming very exasperated. So that's what gives you the and everyone has has something like has, that. Has something like and that. Is, is is the humorous speaking end of it? Is is that the side of Toastmasters that you like the best? Because uh, to me, that is probably the hardest. But maybe it's not. But is that the side that you like of Toastmasters? Yes. Yeah. I I like doing the humorous speech because I'm getting a reaction from the crowd. If I have to go up and do a, a straight speech. You know, when people are listening, I find it harder going. Yeah. But other people prefer the other way. Do you know, they prefer to give a straight speech about a topic. Yeah. And some people are brilliant at that as well. But I find that I have to be getting the... The, the last. The, the, the bit of the and reaction. Is, is that how you know a speech is going well? In that you're getting the... the yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I suppose the thing in... The thing in Toastmasters is that the more experience you're going, you know, every audience is different. And if it's not going well for your deck, you can still manage to keep going. That's hard. You know, it's great when the audience is with you, but sometimes... And I'm sure over the years, have you done that? Have you gone up and died to death? You would, you have, but you just have to pull yourself together <laughs> and... But it doesn't usually happen in Toastmasters, because everyone wants... Yeah, wants, wants you to, to do, do well. But, yeah. but I think that's what I've learned over the years, and that... I wouldn't be getting a blank anymore if things weren't going that well, yeah. and that I'd be able... And is your speech scripted? Do you actually get up and read it out, or is it, it off the top of your off head? Off the top of your head. In out notes? You can, but you're, you can use your body gestures better if you have your hands free. So I keep my notes in my head for this one, anyway. So and how long was the speech? You can't go over seven and a half minutes. There's somebody timing you. Oh, there is. Oh, yes. And that's strict as well. Oh, it's very strict. You're disqualified if you go over And it's head. all in your head. Yeah. That's what I found this time was the best way to... God, to I, 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 I'm thinking of the nerves and everything. Were you fearful that I'd forget a bit, or...? You were always fearful, but it just yeah. went... I... You kind of lay it out in your head that does... Like you'll have paragraphs in your head. You yeah. do this, you do the next one, next one, and that's how it goes. Fantastic. That, yeah. that, that is a real talent. But would you have initially started by writing that speech? Is that, is I that would have wrote down points right. and develop them around that then. Do you know that kind of, until you have your, and then you time it. And then you let out bits that you thought were unsuitable. And with each stage you're doing it up along bits that people don't react to, you kind of let them out and you might put in a different bit. Yeah. You know, that kind of yeah. And so do you, you practice in the bedroom? 
Are you starting to look nice out, out with the clothes in the field? <laughs> <laughs> they don't take much notice of me. I'm sure that they really enjoy your speeches. Okay, a couple of texts in. Well done to Michael. I've been lecturing at third level university for over ten years and I still get nervous before some of my lectures. Standing before a few hundred people and talking is not an easy task at times. And I believe, so I, I, I 100% agree with you. I have great admiration for what, for what Michael did. But to say hi to Mike uh, from Ned and Sheila in Kilworth. Uh, great to hear on the radio and congratulations to whom you obviously know there Ned and Sheila and Kilworth yes, to do. A, l- a lot of people wanting to, um, to to wish you well ok your next meeting for Mallow Toastmasters is when? it's tomorrow night ok Inside the high be at 8 o'clock where we will have a person giving her first speech and also we will, we're very lucky to have one of our friends from the Cope Foundation in Quartertown she's giving her second speech so sure. we're, we're delighted we have a number of the members of Cope and Quartertown they come Fantastic. One of our members goes out and prepares them with their speeches and they come into our club and they give a speech so there'll be three or four of them during the year. Great. Which is great. That, that, really, that really is fantastic and again, I know, it gives, I know some of the people in Copen, I know it gives them a great boost and they really enjoy it as well. Uh, and your, um, a copy of your speech is going up on the website? Yeah, we're so supposed to get the DVD from Kilkenny s- sometime soon and I'm sure there's some wizard in the club will upload it on tower. Well, listen, let, let us know because we, we'd love to have a look at it and we can tell listeners about it as well. In the meantime, Michael Cronin, once Again, congratulations to you, and thanks for taking time out to join us uh, in a uh, studio. Now, that's where I leave you for today. My thanks to John Paul McNamara for producing the program. Eric is with you for the afternoon, and we're back with you uh, tomorrow for Thursday's edition of the program at uh, 10 o'clock. Uh, and a reminder, you can always email the program throughout the afternoon to Patricia at C.